Hey everybody, welcome back. So um, today we're just going to create some, or try to create a cool effect using the leftover colors from the last post. It was the um, one with the glass, the mirrored glass chunks. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixing up a little bit more clear resin because I ended up using everything in that last coaster, but I was left with a ton of leftovers. So I had planned on making another coaster. I just didn't plan on using up all of the resin. I just didn't make enough of it, I guess, of the total amount of resin. Obviously because I made even with the leftovers way more than I need. Like I said, I made enough because I wanted to do another coaster, but anyways, I'm blabbing now. So, using the same resin, and it's a low viscosity, and it's from Nick Pro, and it's a one-in-one -one ratio. Um, for the effect that I'm wanting in this coaster, I like using a medium or a low viscosity resin. Um, the medium viscosity resin that I use, that I like to use currently, I like to try different kinds, but currently what I'm using is um, from Tea Expert, T-E-E-X-P-E-R-T, -E -E um, for my medium, but today we're working with low viscosity, so it's Nick Pro. So anyways, stirring the resin, and um, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit where we're getting everything else together. Obviously the colors are already mixed. Now keep in mind when I did the other coaster I started creating about 20-25 minutes. Okay, um, Total time from the time I mixed it and everything. So now since I had to make more resin these colors from that other mixed resin have now been sitting, because I immediately started recording. After I poured this resin, I pushed record. Um, so now this has been sitting, I would say, about 35 minutes, because that last poster did take long. We'll say 35, almost 40 minutes, which is fine. It's a low viscosity. It's runny. It's, it's thinner. However, I've found, depending on the weather, this resin will thicken up faster than my medium viscosity. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> so, um, which I don't like because then I still am dealing with some of the micro bubbles, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to use... The leftovers are from Color Joy, and they're from the other. They're from the other um, coaster, the other process video that I posted. So it was the beige matte color cream paste, a bit of the cool gold metallic color cream, and then the alcohol ink that I had used in the other co coaster was mossy green, and we used a generous amount. I did I think six or seven drops. So that's what we have left over. And see the color. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting is. Okay, so this resin's fine. We're going to go ahead and use some of this chromatic also. This is from Catherine with Dryer Days, who is also with Color Joy, where I got where, with the paste colors that we're using. So we're going to use some of the chromatic holographic chunks. I love these. i put some of that in the center. So I'm going to drop a little bit clear resin in the center and we're going to go ahead and start the other one. If you watched the process before this, that's the leftover colors we're using in this coaster. Um, remember I started off with a dry coaster because I had those mirrored glass chunks throughout it. Um, that. so this time and I had mentioned I like to usually when I'm doing this type of coaster with the effect I'm wanting I usually start off with clear resin 
in my coaster or I start off this way with a ring of it around the coaster. I never get it even around it. We're going to go ahead and put some of those chromatic flakes in the center. That's good. It's probably too much. going to go ahead and start and we're going to start with the beige this time. Just do a generous ring. Okay, then we're going to go in with our green. Kind of half on it. I want to put the white in between the beige and the green. And now I want to pour my clear in the center, which is going to spread out a lot of those chrome flakes. I just thought of that, so I probably should have done that after. But live and learn. It's okay. We might be able to push or pull some of those back in. Or just leave it. I don't want to mess with the... Um, with the resin, so look at all those micro bubbles. Goodness gracious, it's all right. These aren't for anybody. This is more for the technique. You guys can't probably see the micro bubbles, but I can. But do you guys see those hollow flakes? Oh my goodness, I love these chromatic flakes. It beautiful, gorgeous, Catherine. If you're watching this. Okay, so we're going to pour a little more green. Done with the green. I forgot to use the cool metallic in that other one, you guys. I totally forgot to use this in my other video. I'm just now realizing that. Goodness. All right. Now we're going to pour a thin white line around that cool metallic gold paste. Twice around. That's it. And then we're going to splash some more resin going around that white push that white out push everything out there we go beautiful oh I love how that's looking yes okay this is going to be really pretty I can't except for all these little freaking micro bubbles other than that yes See how that gold's starting to disperse already right there? Beautiful. I love it. All right, you guys. Until next time, have a good one.